<laughs> Send the dog over like a canary in a mine. Oh, if she lives. <laughs> oh. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Stay in here, stay in here. Oh, Frank. Well, tonight is our very last night as a family in the house. And we're stuck, we're kind of ending how we started. We had a takeaway on our first night in this room. It looked quite a bit different. Now, we're sat on mattresses, eating fish and chips. How are you feeling about the move, girls? Okay, okay. What are you gonna miss about the house most? Um, pizza oven. Oh, good shout, yeah. And um, the garden. Well, today's the day we've finally had our last night at the house. Come up here, unload, staying overnight at Joe's parents, and then we move to the cottage tomorrow. I've done another trailer trip up the M5, fueled on Haribo. And chocolate. Why did I eat all the chocolate? Well, uh, it was a long journey. So Joe's car had the kids in and all of the stuff that we're going to take to the cottage. My load consisted of two fluffy bunnies, five quail, I don't want to fly away, one fluffy pooch, then hopefully, all being well, eight chickens and a duck. Sadly, we lost Betty yesterday, so she never quite made it to the farm. She did make it 10 years though. It's pretty good going for a duck. And she'd also survived two fox attacks with a, a light chewing to the neck. I'm sure we have an old video somewhere on that. She, and she was the mother to Frank, who's in here. For some reason, all of our pairs of ducks have always been called Frank and Betty. All right, girls. The five layers are in here. Three bantams at the bottom. And Frank's in the rabbit run. We've got a trailer load of straw coming at the weekend. Or oh, we'll go and pick it up. So we need to just kit out the stable enough for all the animals to stay in. Because of course bird flu is still around so they all have to stay indoors or penned. Are you going to come out with me? So here we go. This is the stable. They've got plenty of space in here. And we'll put some tables in and quails and rabbits can go up high. Come on then, Frank. Good, good boy, good boy. All right, all right. Oh, oh good lad, good lad. Oh. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Stay in here, stay in here. Oh, Frank. Good girl. There you go. All out, everyone out. And you can go out. These three mottled Pekin bantams, they got a, uh, a hubby on the way. I've got a cockerel reserved for them. He's a bit young, but he'll uh, be ready for this season. So we might hatch out a few. And then I've got another dozen layers on the way at some point. And then once we've settled in, we'll probably get a few more pure breeds. I'll be going back to my roots when we used to have. Oh, Far too many chickens and ducks and pheasants and peacocks and all sorts. But as soon as we can get them out, it frees up that stable, which is going to be my little piggery. Come on, guys. Do you think you're a chicken? What was it with dogs and chicken food? Yeah.
time to unload. You need to go to the right, you need to lift it up. Right to this end. Where is it? Well, then, good girl. Swing it. Lift, lift, lift and swing, lift and swing. One day you'll be lifting that, swinging it, and unloading sheep or pigs. How's the lunch, girls? Good. Yes. Sandwich and crisps. And fruit. And fruit. Fruit. You had fruit, yeah. No, right. I had it right. We need to get a couple of pallets down in here. Right. I do need to get those out at some Can point. Can we get the top ones out first? Uh, well, we'll just start. We'll do it how we put them in. We'll get the back oh, ones out first. Right, unloaded 30 small bales, which is more than we need. It's just so we can bed up that stable for all the birds for now. And at least we've got some as and when livestock arrive. But well, bizarrely, one of the reasons for this is every day during the week, Joe and I are gonna be working out here, cutting all the timber, building the cabins. Rose is gonna be with us. So it's easy enough and cheap enough to make a fort of kind of nine or 10 of these and chuck all of her toys in there and that sort of thing. And even on a drizzly day, it's all undercover here. Basically farm soft play. Right, family walk now, it's gonna tire out that dog. We're having our Sunday walk. Sunday? The... Oh, Saturday, it's all a blur. <laughs> We're having our Saturday walk. And the girls wanna try the bridge, the footbridge over to the island on the lake. Thankfully we haven't got any spare clothes with us, but at least we only live 15 minutes away now. For once. So. Rosa, are you going to go on the bridge? Yeah. One hour and a half. Why, why are you picking grass? Um, why? You can wrap it. For the rabbits. <laughs> so over there is a little pontoon thing, which is definitely, definitely not safe. Supposedly this, well, it's telegraph poles. Why do you think that's not safe? Because yeah. someone went through it. Well, yeah, but apart from that bit. Yeah. The boards on top aren't safe. The, the structure looks okay. I just like some railings. I don't like it when it's just, you know. Yeah. I'll show you that tree that's come down. I don't think the R tracks will pull it out, but next to us, telehandler might. Here it is. Oh, it's only a single telegraph pole. What do you mean? Oh, it's just one pole. Send the dog over like a canary in a mine. Oh. If she lives. <laughs> Go on, Max. Can someone call back here because I'm going to go after. Alright. Getting after. Yeah, don't Careful, girls, don't go over. Wait for Daddy, please. That's pretty uh, thin wood, actually. He's crawling. Everyone, you witnessed it here no, first. Crawling, He's crawling over. over. <laughs> <laughs> Can you call the entourage are waiting. <laughs> Oh, no way. <laughs> That's a really bad idea. Look. Oh! Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, oh, dear. I think, uh, I think we need to rebuild. Shimmy along, Tim. We don't want to see that. Hey? Shimmy along on your all fours. Oh. Oh, no, they're bendy. Oh. I think we'll wait and we'll. But I like her!
Right, you get the new one. You're like mummy, aren't you? Yep. Sensible. Why is she sensible? It's fun. Clearly, we're not all going to get across that bridge today. Uh, but it's a project for the future. What I wanted to show the girls is this clump of trees. This whole clump is tipped over, can you see? It's got most of its roots. I wonder if, if we drag that whole clump out, split it out, could we replant them? Oh, there goes Mrs. Moorhen. What do you reckon? Yeah? Could you get all of that clump of trees out? Yeah. Cut it into different root balls and replant them as individual trees. What trees are they? Uh, I thought they were birch, but they're rougher bark. Oh, I don't think. What's the don't think they're popular. Are we going to have to wait for the tractor to get it out? I presume. Although how? Yeah. I think it's probably too heavy for, for even the tractor. It seems like a real waste of trees. Because they're like 10 year old trees. Mad idea, crazy idea. Let us know if you think that is salvageable. But there's about 10 small trees in there. Yeah. Which is, you know, it's too grand. Right, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's what I mean, yeah. If we're thinking where we want to plant more screening. Yeah. That's been there for a long time, apparently. You see how it's fallen, but then re sprouted. That's amazing. This yeah, it's a willow tree that's gone over and all of these shoots have gone off. So these shoots, any of these shoots, Eden, uh -huh. and Faith, and I think you can both build, carefully climb. If you were to climb up here and cut off some of these, yeah. you, you could jab them in the ground yeah. and they'd grow into new trees this year. What? Really? Yeah. I don't know what part of the tree you have to take the cuttings from, but I reckon... I reckon any of that, you could cop, cop it off some of it. Yeah. No, they're, they're, they're 20. That's what I said. Another question. Can we salvage those? Well, not salvage, because they're obviously a growing tree. But willow just grows back and back and back. So if we took 50% or even 20% of those, Will they? Because the only willow we've planted would have been single stems, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Whereas those are already yeah. going concerns. I've got no wind mic on there. We just kind of coppice them off down the bottom. Could we jab them in? Plant them in? Possibly. Possibly would work. I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to. Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you